everybody, Lou with Burger Pickers here, and today we're gonna jump right into it and check out our latest vintage costume jewelry haul. And hopefully we can all learn something from it. Um, I do appreciate all your comments below. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we got these videos coming at you um, at least once a month, and I just want to share our latest acquisitions with you. So here we have um, like a mid-century brooch, pin, and um, earring set, uh, rhinestones. These navette shaped ones are Aurora Borealis, which tells me at least 1950s or uh, more modern than that. And then there are clip-on earrings here in the back. And that's pretty neat. If you check the back, I don't see any signs that this could be Juliana or Deany. Um, so it's just a really nice, um, pretty good condition uh, brooch set. Um, and it's considered demi -perur. Um So there's Grand Perour, Perour, and demi -perur. Grand Perour would be like your earrings brooch, necklace, bracelet, and I do believe, I think I'm missing something, I think it's four or five pieces in other words to complete a jewelry set, and Perour would be, you know, three pieces, and Demi Perour at least two. Um, if it's one, you're out of luck, it's nothing, it's just a brooch, a necklace, or anything like that. Um, here we have a uh, abalone, which is a, a shell, a hummingbird, pin, okay, and it's signed in the back, and I'll tell you in a second what it is. These look like natural uh, pearls, maybe even fresh water. Okay, abalone, it's got some enameling, uh, white and black. In the back it says, okay, it, I can make out what it is, but, uh, you know, all, not all the letters are there, but the top reads alpaca, it's supposed to read alpaca, and the bottom, Mexico. So, alpaca is actually not silver. Um, now it looks like silver and because people assume that this jewelry was made in Mexico it is silver and that, that's not the case here. So this brooch uh, particularly is made of alpaca. So it's, it, it's actually called alpaca silver. It's a common name for uh, a metal alloy. It's a combination of metals really. Uh, usually copper, nickel, and occasionally other metals such as zinc, tin, lead, or cadmium. Um, so not precious whatsoever. Uh, we tend not to buy precious metals, um, it's just not what we do. We focus on vintage costume jewelry and that's it. And next we have a little bit of everything today. Uh, we have a ring. Now I can't tell if that's a precious stone. My guess is it's not. The reason why I think that is because the um, ring is adjustable. So when you see rings like this, they're A, not really precious metal. I've never seen one that was precious metal that's adjustable like this. And I'm not sure about the stone. It has to be tested. Um, it does feel cold to the touch, so it could be made out of glass. And chances are it is. Okay. I got a choker style necklace. Um, it's fairly modern, so maybe even retro. And you see this logo right there? It's like a lion's head. Um, that is the brand logo for Ancline. Okay? So that's what this is right here. There you go. And next we have a bracelet. Um, it's a snake head bracelet or a snake uh, bracelet. Looks pretty neat. Um, that's pretty cool actually, the scales there. It's like a mesh. Oh. It's adjustable. And I do believe um, Whiting and Davis used to make these. And it doesn't mean anything that it's not labeled or signed. I'm pretty sure that this is Whiting and Davis. Um, and I bet if I did a quick Google search I would probably find this exact piece. Again, some of them were signed, some of them weren't. So. No biggie here. Let's move on. I'll put that down. Uh, we got another choker style necklace. This is like a belt buckle. Okay. And this is an unsigned piece. Still pretty cool, pretty avant garde. We'll place that right there. Now, this ring right here, it's loaded with rhinestones. Um, it's like a flower figural, but I have a feeling that this is probably more modern, so not really vintage. 
still nice. Another ring, also adjustable as you can tell right here. Okay. And it is a, a prong setting. Okay, so this again could or could not be, well, maybe it is a precious stone. Um, and it looks like, and I might be mispronouncing this, um, I think it's called lapis lazuli. Or lapis lazuli. Depending on where you're from, you'll pronounce it differently. But um, it's a type of gemstone, and I think this could be it. Again, it needs to be tested. If you don't agree, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Uh, again, another adjustable ring. Not a precious metal of any kind. Um, I don't know if this is like ceramic or porcelain or anything like that, but it's got uh, a scarab. Um, which is like Egyptian Revival type jewelry. It's pretty cool. But nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing really super special. And here's another one. Uh, same thing here. Same theme. Egyptian Revival. Again, uh, prong setting. Adjustable. And it's not signed or anything like that. Oh, boom, I'm wrong. Okay. Well, in this case, it's a uh, 12 karat gold plated. So you see that sign right there? Maybe I can bring that in closer. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty good. It says 1 um, forward slash 20 dash 12 KT. So it's gold plated. Um, so it's 1 20th purity. So it's, it's almost like there's no gold value to this whatsoever. That's extremely minimal. Um, it, it's still considered, it's not considered precious. It's still considered costume jewelry. got another ring right here. Again, not precious. This one is signed. And I do believe it says, let me just zone in on this real quick. Um, I think it says 18KT HGE. And what that means is that it's electroplate. So it's high quality costume jewelry. In other words, it won't tarnish or change or anything like that. And uh, it's nice. It's, uh, you know, really, it was really popular in the past. Um, I haven't bought any costume jewelry, you know, modern that I would wear myself besides my, my wedding ring. But um, I'm not so sure they make these anymore. But these are definitely higher quality. Um, nice, again, not a precious metal if it's plated. And that's what it is. It's electrical plate, 18 karat, 18 karat. You know what? My opinion is simply that, um, I guess, designers, jewelers out there that used to, or manufacturers of these rings and items used to create these and just put like 18 karat or 14 karat or 10 karat whatever maybe just to add additional value to the item itself um you know and and sometimes even probably fooling folks into thinking that it's actual gold and it's not it's just played it um and this right here okay it doesn't have a clasp um it feels cold to the touch i recognize it right away um it's a uh, turquoise the actual stone. So this is a necklace with turquoise beads. They're smooth, they're pretty cool, you see some really cool colors mixed in there. Um, so that's really neat. Alright, so next I have a multi-strand um, freshwater pearl necklace. So now these are actual real pearls. Um, the freshwater pearls, hence the odd shape. They almost look like Rice Krispies. Non-edible. Don't try. But, um, I thought they're pretty cool. There you go. Um, actual pearls. So pearls in general are never perfect. They're never perfectly round. Um, they always have, like, some little shape to it. They're not always the same size. Um, there's a few Japanese companies out there that make really high quality stuff. And I forget... I think they both start with M. Um, one may be... Hold on, let me see if I can find one right here. Uh, one is definitely Marua Pearl Company. And the other one also starts with an M. It's not... For some reason, Mikasa keeps jumping into my head, but that's not what it is. It's something completely different. Um, starts with an M. Look it up. Type in, you know, Google it, and type in maybe, um, you know, uh, Japanese... Uh, Pearl jewelry manufacturers or companies, and you'll you'll find them. Um, this is you know another cool necklace. Um, it's got like an amber design, and 
It's not precious whatsoever. All costume. Not actual amber. This is plastic or lucite. Okay, definitely a retro look. And now, got another necklace. Um, here we go. Let me you can see. There we go. Class rhinestones, faceted. Um, some of the colors are blue, like a amber color, and then some forest green colors in there. Pretty neat. It's got a lobster clasp, so it's probably more modern, or perhaps even retro. And here we got a fish crystal pendant. There you have it. Now a lot of folks are into these because they have uh, homeopathic, I'm going to just call it powers, I guess maybe health benefits if people, if you, if you're in that sort of thing and believe it. Um, I'm not, I would just, I guess, uh, have somebody wear this, um, you know, just, just for display, just for fashion purposes. So short and sweet this time around, um, stay tuned for more videos, uh, also check out our older videos. Uh, but yeah, this is Lou with Bergen Pickers. I uh, hope some of this helped you guys. And please stay tuned in and, and come visit us often. Thanks.